Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today's video is not about makeup. I mean some of it's beauty like stuff, but today we're talking about lifestyle products that are in my life that I really enjoy. Things that just make my everyday life more enjoyable or easier in certain ways. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Alright guys, before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. And I'm very excited about today's video, honestly, because of this. So today's video was kind of inspired by like all these Amazon hauls and everything I've been seeing lately. But with the holiday season coming, I don't think everyone wants like basic gifts. Some there's some people you really care about. So I am very happy to have Anna Luisa Jewelry on today's video. So I'm gonna talk about two of their pieces today that I received. So Anna Luisa Jewelry isn't just some cheap jewelry company as you may think a lot of people advertise. This is something that is made out of 100% recycled gold and it's actually really good quality gold. So it says that their products come from the same jewelers as Tiffany Company and Louis Vuitton. So these are a high price tag type deal. Even they want to be really economical friendly and eco they want to be really eco friendly. So even their packaging is made out of recycled materials, which I really like, especially being on a cruelty free channel. I've been trying to reduce my plastic and waste, so I've been like trying to be more eco friendly a little bit. So I really like this is made out of recycled materials and recycled gold. So the first piece we have here is a layered necklace duo. It comes with a little medallion. They are separate pieces. You can wear them separately too. And then we also have this really nice detailed little moon with little tiny balls around the rest of the necklace to add extra little bit of something something rather than just a little tiny pendant. Which I like the little pendant too. It has a little texture on it. But with the layered duo I think it's really cute. The next thing we have here is this beautiful ring. And I got it in the right size which is surprising so I'm a size 7 if you need reference this is the ring it has like a little eyeball with little eyelashes on it and it's gold again recycled gold I'm gonna put it on this hand so people don't assume things that aren't true but it's really pretty and I usually don't like gold on my hands but like I really do like this one and I love the eye on it, it kind of matches this like mystical vibe my outfits going for right now then we have one thing left also, let's talk about how you open these up. It has like a little envelope that the chain comes out of so it doesn't get tangled but super super pretty. And then this is the last piece which is a little sun kind of starry shape with a little white pearl looking thing in the middle. It's a terrible description and I don't mean it like that but it is really cute. I like the accent of a little bit of white in the center. I love black, white, and gold. So this is white and gold. And it's very cute. So out of the three things... I think I like the layered necklace the best just because I like the little moon and I like how it looks layered like this. It's like the perfect little layered necklace. I also really like the ring and the other necklace too. So the ring is super, super cute and it's not gaudy, but it's like a bigger kind of ring in my opinion. So I really like this. Thank you, Anna Luisa Jewelry, for sponsoring today's video. If you guys need any jewelry, especially for the holiday season coming up, please check out the link at the top of the description box. Now let's get to the rest of the video. Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and get into the other things in my like lifestyle haul. First, let's do candles. I love candles. I have many a candle. I'm just pointing out three today that I really, really like. This is one that I've already finished and I am in love with it. It's from At Home. So this is the Sea Salt and Palm candle. I've already burned it to the bottom. It smells so good. It was like eight bucks at home because it was like on sale. It's from Artisan Supply. It's Sea Salt and Palm. So this is what the bottom looks like in case you want reference. I wish it was centered in the bottom, but it's not. It just smells really fresh and clean and like a little tiny bit beachy with the palm. Like it's like a fresh fragrance, but not floral and it's not super, super salty either. It doesn't smell like the beach. It just smells like a little bit like clean with a hint of suntan lotion maybe. I, I just really like the way it smells. I love the packaging with like the dark blue with the gold cap. I think it's really cute. And at home is a great place, you guys. If you don't have one, it's like a pottery type deal, but they sell candles too. So the next thing we have, I got this from Dillard's. It was on sale. It was $24. It was on sale for half off, so it was $12. This is the hand-poured candle crafted in Sweet Home Chicago, 100% cotton wick, soy wax. And it has like a little wax seal on the top that says man, madman. And I'm like, man, in a candle form. I love men's scented candles. Like I'll use these as like a daytime candle. Which, like, I don't really, it just, it just burns like it's fresh. But at night, I like a man candle. <laughs> so this is the Madman Get Lit. And this one is in the Scent Mahogany. I keep it in the container like this, but you can also pour it out and have the candle like this. But I think it looks better in the container, so I burn it in the container. I've burned about, I don't know, a quarter of it so far because I like to save these man-scented ones. I don't burn them as fast as the daytime ones. It just smells so good. It smells like a fresh shave cream. 
I love the way a man smells. I love a man scented house. Like, please. So, this one that smells like a shaving product. And I really like it. And it was only 12 bucks, so I feel like it's a good deal. The last candle I have for you is from Manly Indulgence. I, there's several of these that I really, really like. The only one I don't like from them is the Fresh Shave. Because I thought it smelled good, and then Adam smelled, said it kind of smelled like old pee a little bit. Like, on the off hint of it, and I could not get behind that candle anymore. But this is the one that I have right now. I've gone through several of these. This is the Manly Indulgence 5 O'Clock Shadow. It's poured in the USA with notes of oak, 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 oak moss, musk, and fresh fur. It just smells so good. This is how much I burned this one. About half. I don't know. It smells like a man. It just smells like aftershave, kind of. It smells a little bit musky with, like, a little bit of, like, wood, I guess. But it just smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. Also, the one thing about this candle that I don't like is that I can't, you know, put the cap on to blow it out because it's it's a cardboard. But the rest of them you can just put the cap on to make them finish up. It just smells so good, you guys. It smells like a dude. I love Manly Indulgence candles so much. Don't ask me why. I just like men. Next up, this is my, a new one. So this isn't the one I've used yet, but this is like my second one. I got this from Marshalls. This is a new one I got today. So this is like one of those bamboo sponges, like people use loofahs. This one's like a bamboo body scrub thing, and I like this so much more than loofah. I just got rid of my other one because it was like a little bit old. I like to change them every like two months or so just because they're only like three bucks, and I feel like it's really worth it. And I feel like if everything gets stuck in here, you can't really clean it, so I like to change them often. But they have like a nice little hand thing you can kind of scrub in. I don't really like a loofah. I feel like the mesh material doesn't really make sense, but this seems like a better like a application of body wash and stuff especially if you're gonna shave your legs it goes on really smoothly so I like these little bamboo body things you can get them at TJ Maxx you can get them at Target you can get them at Ross they're like two or three bucks usually really good deal and it really like holds the body wash so it keeps coming out the more like you wet it it's really cool speaking of body wash I do have something else since review so this is the plant apothecary calm down body wash so I picked this scent, the Calm Down one, based off like the title. They have several of them. They have like a happy one. They have like a get the day started kind of one. They have like really nice, cool, like what kind of vibe you're going for scents. And I really like the body wash. My favorite thing about this is this little nozzle that looks like mustard. I do not know why this is like my favorite freaking thing. I love just, let me close it first as an example. I like just going with like... Like, I'm going on a hot dog, blowing my little body sponge here, and using this thing. It makes it so much easier than, like, a squeeze bottle or something, like, example, like a, like a regular squeeze bottle, you know? Something about this is so easy, and I love that. Like, I think every body wash should have this little nozzle thing on it, or a pump. Like, one or the other. I think these little, like, regular things, like, I love Arctic Fox, don't get me wrong. But, I, like, for body wash, I don't really want to use this kind of thing. I definitely prefer this little nozzle thing. It's my favorite thing ever. I'm personally not the biggest fan of the Calm Down scent. I got it for the name Calm Down, but I didn't realize it was a ginger and lavender. It smells fun. It kind of smells like an organic store. I'm just not the biggest fan of lavender in the world, but the body wash performs really nicely. I've still been using it, and you only need like a little bit like a dash. So I've been using this for about two weeks now, and I thoroughly enjoy the crap out of this. So I'm only like a quarter down but I'm gonna finish it up even though I'm not the craziest person about the scent because it does have a really good lather and this applicator is bomb like I want to try some of the other scents and see if I like them more because this actually is a really good body wash I just like lavender all right so next up is something I've talked about before on my channel but I just want to talk about it again since I've been getting a lot of tattoos um <laughs> so this is the first aid beauty ultra repair cream they also have this in a squeezy bottle the squeezy bottle is like it's like gone you can get it at like TJ Maxx and stuff but they have these in mostly jars now I think you can probably still get the original scent in the tubey form but they have like three scents and then the regular and the big jar I prefer the big jar personally so this is the intense hydration cucumber and melon the scent doesn't matter but if you guys get tattoos like this is my newest tattoo you guys have been asking to see it since you can see it um, it is an anatomical heart with a cemetery scene on the inside it was a flash tattoo um, like a Halloween deal, but like I love abandoned places, I love cemeteries, so I thought it was a great pick. And I also like anatomical hearts, I think they look really nice. And I like, like body part tattoos, like I love hands, I have Edward Scissor hands, so I don't want to get like a hand hand yet. But I thought it was really pretty, so that's my new tattoo if you guys were wondering what it was, because you can kind of see it in some videos, but you can't tell what it is. So this is my favorite way to heal a tattoo. Like other than, um, 
Saniderm, which is like a plastic you put over for a couple days and it heals itself. If you don't have Saniderm, this is like the best thing to get. It lasts you forever, so it's hard to tell. I haven't used that that much of this thing because you only need like a little baby bit for a tattoo. You don't want to coat it. You can also use it as like an intense body thing for like if you have eczema or any skin irritation or you just want to use a lotion. It's good for anything. But for healing tattoos, this keeps it so moist and not dried out. It helps it like flake evenly and not like scab up and get gross. So I really like this for tattoos if you guys haven't tried it. The next product I want to talk about... There's no easy transition to this next thing. Um, so the next thing I'll talk about is this little hand sanitizer. I got this from Target, right? And it's just hand sanitizer. It's not that special, right? It's just hand sanitizer. Something about this, though, like it locks. So it only opens if you want it to so it like squirts like dart across the room or you can lock it and it won't you can't press it at all it looks like a little chicken um there's no eyes on or anything but you can lock it so it won't squirt or you can squirt it and it just like squirts a little tiny amount in your hand not too much that's something i hate about hand sanitizer usually you squirt too much of it but i really like this little egg shape so this is the lemon scent i believe but this just you can lock it, it doesn't spray you can spray it it only sprays like a certain amount that you barely need which is great I really like this little guy. I think he was like four bucks at Target. So worth it. Next up is this Flint um, lint roller. I have three cats in my house right now. We go through a lot of lint rollers. I have one of these in my car. Ew, I should have changed the sheet. This is kind of gross. Let me change the sheet before we show you this. It's kind of embarrassing. So this is the Flint lint roller. My favorite thing about this is you can cover it up. Also, when you want to change the sheets out, it's super, super easy as well. And I found sheet refills for this thing for a dollar at TJ Maxx before. They also sell, like, the different colors of these in, like, blue and pink at, like, Walmart. So I think I got this from Walmart. I have one in my car that I got from TJ Maxx. But these are just super cool. And then you don't get the papery, sticky stuff on anything because you covered it up. Like, you unveiled it and you covered it up. It's just the most convenient thing ever. And I'll never go back to a stupid regular lint roller again. This is so good. I think it was like four or five bucks. It's great. Um, next, no easy transition to this. This is not beauty related at all. But this is the ring doorbell. It's really nice. So I don't have like a fancy doorbell. Um, so this just goes off like motion. I don't have like a, a doorbell place you can press. But it's so easy, for like when the motion goes off, it records what's happening so you can see who's outside your place or whatever. And I really like it. The camera quality is pretty good. It also, like on the app, you can see like incidents in your neighborhood and stuff. I really like that. It's really convenient and I'm glad I have it now. And I don't think I'll ever not have one because it's just really convenient that when motion goes off outside your place, you can see what's going on. I really like that. So, let's move on to the last thing, which is the new skincare fridge that I got. I was sent it to review, but I want to show you like... I want to show you the cute little fridge. All right, don't judge my little weird bathroom, but this is a Teamy Blends. So it's from Teamy Skincare Fridge. This, like, it has like a big depth to it, so it's really nice. I know it's hard to show you in here because it's just such a dark bathroom, but it's a really cute marble front. I need to put it in a better area. I just don't have a place for it yet. But it's okay. So what I think about it, I think it's really pretty. It feels very sleek. It feels very nice, but it's a little loud. You can probably hear it, and then it's a little hard to open. Like, this little latch is a little, it's a little hard to open at times. But I've been working on putting new stuff in here. I used to have, like, a full skincare fridge, and then I thought it was a little too loud, so I got rid of it. But this new one, I keep my face masks in here, um, the Sunday Rally Cream, a milk toner thing, water cream, berry air cream. This was my regular fridge. I had to take it out. Adam loves this thing. It is the Dr. Botanicals. Superfood, the coconut melts from Kapari because it turns into liquid in the Florida heat. But this is the inside. It has really cute things. I would die without this. Like, I need this up here to hold the masks. I wouldn't want them laying down. And then also, let me show you the bag. <laughs> it has, like, a warmer option. You can make it warm, but I would never need it warm. And then it also came with a plug where you can put it in the car. So if I was ever going on a road trip... I could take this little fridge with me, which is really weird, but kind of cool at the same time. So I think this is really pretty. I like it a lot, but I just wish it was a little easier to open. It doesn't get the coldest in the world. Like, I wouldn't keep beverages in here if I can get it open. See, I need both hands. I have to stabilize the top of it and open this. There we go. I just have to, I have to use both hands. 
So I wouldn't put drinks in here because it doesn't get super, super cold, but it keeps everything just slightly chilled. So I think if you got like a mini fridge for food, it'd probably be colder than this. But this also does warm if you want the warming option. I just don't know what kind of skincare I'd want to warm. But this is what's in here right now. I mostly need it for the masks and the berry air cream. But yeah, I like the little fridge. I'm trying to get used to putting stuff in here and using it. But I think it's really pretty regardless. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Also be sure to check out Annalisa Jewelry in the top of the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.